So let's talk about the flyweight design patterns. A flyweight design pattern is a structural design pattern. So it's minimized the memory usage by sharing off its data with other similar objects. So imagine you have 1,000 or 2,000 instances of class in your scene and each instance holding many information and attributes. So instead of all these instances and occupy too many memory on your computer, so instead we make a one single single class holding all these sharing information and all these instances will talk to this class and will take this information so this will save you much more memory it will minimize the usage memory so in unreal engine in, in unreal engine 4 and 5 in, you're already familiar i don't know if you're already familiar with the foliage uh, the, the foliage you can put many many instances of your or of your grass or 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 tree or rocks or anything you you like in the foliage it's not limited to these options you can put anything so all these instances are considering in the design patterns of the flyweight design patterns because they use they sharing some common attributes like for example the sh the shape itself the, the material itself the the the, the collision so all the, all of these are instances are using the design patterns, the flyweight design patterns. Another example is the instance static mesh. The instance static mesh, it's a component, it's a pre-made component. By Epic guys, you can put that in your any blueprint and make an instance static mesh. I can make many instances of one single static mesh. It will be one instance so one instance it will be this shape it will be all this shape i can make many instances of it i will show you an example in the engine so if i go to the website in game programming design patterns he talk about the uh, the, the flyweight he, he show you an example how we can share on for example i talk, uh, i I sharing all these uh, information with the RAM. Imagine all these are trees in your scene, and all these have these attributes. So instead of having all these instance of these classes, all with these many information, he make one singular class call it model, and all these classes talk to this singular class and take the necessary information instead of using and occupying more more memory the same one is in refactoring guru he used this and talking about how a particle also all the particles have a coordinates and vector speed on column sprite so instead all these instances of these particles they basically talk to one th class called particle. All these will hold the necessary information, the common one, the, the attributes on this is the particle itself. And when I call particle, this will be all the unnecessary information that I need. So there is an example examples on these with on, on these two websites you can you can uh, uh, you can drive to the, to this uh, website and see how it's useful for you so uh, I, let me give you an example in the in the engine itself so in the, in there in this section from the selection mode i can go to the foliage and this will uh, go into the foliage mode so if I go to add a new foliage, I don't have any static mesh foliage in the in this project. So let me make one. So create a new static mesh foliage. So let's call it a grass, for example. Save. It will be there. So this will be considered as a glass, uh, grass. Sorry, it's not a grass. So I will open this grass and select any shape, any static shape. So I will pick this one and save now if I go back I can tick that it will be active and go to the paint and paint many instances of these static mesh so all these are considered and taken as a flyweight design patterns they are sharing the material they are sharing the collision they are sharing the shape so these are the flyweight and the foliage so another example if I go back to the selection and delete this one so let me make a blueprint a blueprint class bb lecture for example open that in this in the component i can search for instance static mesh actor so this will be the instance static mesh actor 
let me take a one I can take the same one as a chamber this will be this instance static mesh if I go down there I can create many instances but let me drag this blueprint and drop it in my scene you won't see anything so you must go to the instance static mesh and scroll down until you see the instance add in a new one and you will be adding a new one a new instance so I can take that and move it there I can go back to innocent static mesh and put many many innocence like for example let me put other three and I can select each one of them and move them in the scene so all these are innocence of this specific this innocence where is it this instance static mesh so all of these are sharing the materials sharing the collision and sharing the shape so all these are considered instance static mesh it's super useful it will all the in fact all this actor all these instances will be will make you a one draw call on your cpu it will save you a lot on the cpu and the, even on the memory so it's very useful so this is the design patterns that the engine use uh, in the flyweight so uh, in the foliage and the innocent static mesh so yes uh, these are the the flyweight design patterns in unreal engine so see you in the next video